Good morning, everyone. It is a very, very exciting day today. I am starting work on the kitchen cabinets. We are starting to paint the cabinets today, which is gonna be quite a lengthy process. I would say that painting kitchen cabinets is probably one of the most tedious things you could do, but I'll also say it's one of the most impactful before and afters. Like seeing kitchen cabinets painted before and after is truly like, it is crazy. I've only done it one time before at my parents' kitchen, if you guys remember. I painted their wood cabinets to like a nice soft green color, but in mine, I think we're gonna go pretty moody with the colors. Look how cute my room is looking right now. I'm just doing a little computer work, answering some emails, and I also just posted a little poll on my community tab asking you guys what color you think I should do for the cabinets. It's either between like a brown tone or a green tone, so I'm just not sure either or, but I'm gonna change. I'm gonna throw on a hat because I know I'm gonna be sweating this entire time. Like, okay, see you at the new house. The first thing I needed to do, which actually was a bit of a challenge, was remove the oven because the oven was so tightly pressed between the cabinets and the new countertops. I was like, oh my gosh, is this going to come out? But I got it out. This oven's actually going downstairs, so I turned off the gas for that. I'm going to be getting a new oven for upstairs. Move this into the laundry room, but we also needed to move the refrigerator in here as well, so I'm working on that as well. That was quite the journey, getting the fridge and stove in there so we can start ripping out the rest of the kitchen tile. But let's go ahead and get started. Already sweating, but it is actually a pretty cool day in LA today, so I'm pretty excited that I don't have to work in very hot weather. And I can finally turn on the air conditioning, which is so exciting. A lot of you guys thought I didn't have air conditioning, which I do have air conditioning in here. I just haven't been able to turn it on because the hardwood floors, sawdust, plaster dust. kitchen tile. I shared with you guys that the kitchen tile actually was laid first before the cabinets were added, so the tile goes underneath the cabinets. However, of course, I'm going to need to get that tile out of there because she is not here to stay. We need to put some new tile in, so I went ahead and removed that. You just got to do the best that you can, you guys. Just chip away. I swear some of them I had to do like a hundred little chips of tile, and some of them just popped right out, so just depends on the tile that you're working with. Alrighty guys, so to give you a little update as to where we are, I am currently taking off all of the drawer fronts and all of the cabinet faces of all of the cabinets throughout. In this particular kitchen, I don't believe the drawers are removable or I would have just taken out the entire drawer. It would have probably been easier to just spray it like that. However, I removed the faces of them and my parents' kitchen, I just removed the entire drawer and sprayed it like that. Good morning, everybody. It is a pretty exciting day. It is prep day. Well, I mean, it's part of an exciting day. Tomorrow is going to be the really exciting day because today I'm hoping to get at least the kitchen fully prepped and then also primed. I'm really hoping to get everything primed today. That way tomorrow I could just do all the painting all day long. This morning I went to Lowe's and got so many items. I wanted to share with you though something that I found that I think is going to make this process a lot easier. And that is this 3M hand masker. So I was looking up tips and tricks on how to quickly mask off a kitchen and a lot of people were using this product here and you can actually utilize it alongside like their plastic or the masking paper and they just made it look so much easier like you just go along and I don't know if you can really see this diagram here but like you basically just use it and it applies the tape with the plastic at the same exact time um, and you can mask things off quickly so I'm hoping that it's gonna work pretty well I got some TSP cleaner just to clean off the uh, wood before we spray it and then also some spray paint for the window trim because I want to make this the same exact window trim as in the living room now Marie is actually headed out to to get the paint color which is right over here so let me share with you guys the paint color that I decided to go with it is this one right here Van Buren Brown I don't know if that's popping up on camera so I'm gonna introduce that color into the cabinet it's gonna be like a really warm rich just dark kind of 
purpley brown. Definitely leaning more brown though because as you can see in the middle, this is kind of like a wine and then over here, a little bit more of like a brownish purple shade. The first thing I'm gonna do is go through and put tape on absolutely every single cabinet front and inside of the door and just write the number. That way I can have coordinating numbers with the door fronts and the drawers and then the cabinets and where they actually go on the cabinet. So when I bring them downstairs to spray and I bring them back, we know exactly where they go. So I'm gonna get started doing that. So now what we're gonna do is actually flip each of our cabinets over to the opposite side. So opposite from the handle. So if this goes on like this, we're going to flip our cabinet to the bottom side. We're gonna use a drill with a small drill bit to add two holes on the bottom here. Add two of these little cup hooks, which look like that. And that's going to allow us to hang this on top of a hanger and then spray it, which is exactly what I did when I did my parents' kitchen and it worked out really nicely. Drill down a little bit two spots screw in the cup hooks and there we go so then we're gonna hang this and then you can spray it like 360 which is nice I also found out yesterday that I have a trash can built in to the cabinets, which is so nice. I had absolutely no idea that was there, but I noticed that the knob was in the center and I was like, why is the knob in the middle? And then I realized there's trash cans, which is so, so convenient. So I also have one other idea I'm very excited to share with you guys. And my friend Brittany from Badlands, which you guys have seen her on the channel in the past, she actually sent me a photo, which I'll pop up the photo right here. And she was like, is there any way you could do this above your coffee bar? And I loved the idea. So I actually went and just kind of opened these cabinets up to see if it was achievable. And it 1000% is, you guys. And I still have so much of the marble left because I bought extra. That way I can make you guys some cutting boards and, you know, Know, some items for the shop. I also just wanted to have great pieces for the countertops themselves. So I do have enough to put up here. So what I'm thinking is actually removing these doors here, turning this into open shelving up here, extending the marble all the way up the back. So adding in a panel on the left side, panel on the right side, and then creating new face frames similar to this one to go in the front of each shelf to make them look you know, decently thick. But just picture that being like a fully open, like almost built in hutch situation. And then having, you know, the refrigerator on the right side cabinetry and then more cabinetry on the left side. This will probably be like a pantry situation over here. shelving that I'm doing above the coffee bar. I'm actually just going to remove the doors from those cabinets and just not even paint those. I'm not going to use them. And then I'm using my chisel and hammer to remove the little wood blocks on the inside that hold the hinges. That way it looks a little bit more seamless. I just found this random tile just sitting inside of this little tray here, like this pull-out tray. It's just sitting in there. It has a $60 price tag on the back of it. I went out to the courtyard and realized this tile is actually used throughout the courtyard and the front of the house. I'll pop up some clips right here, but I don't know if they added this. The owners previous to me maybe added this or what. It seems like they definitely did though, and these were $60 a tile. Probably authentic vintage Mexican tiles. I mean, they're they're really beautiful. I love the colors in there, but I just thought it was so random. I just found one in here. I've been looking for the tape for the past two minutes and I realized I literally taped it inside the cabinet. So I'm gonna need that. All right, anyway, friends, what we're going to do is, as you can see, there's actually a lip on the side of the cabinet. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to, on the right side, put the tape on the interior lip. Gonna add a little bit more down here. I also decided on removing these little magnetic pieces. Um, I just find it easier to tape when they're not there. 
So as you can see, we have the tape going around the entire perimeter of the cabinet, just attached on the inside, facing outwards. Now we're gonna cut a piece that actually is gonna go across here from our plastic with the tape. And look how easy and nice it's cut. So I'm just gonna kind of gauge how much I need. Voila! And then you just take your plastic sheet and tap it all the way around the edge, and it's just gonna stick right to the tape. After six long hours, I'm done masking off the kitchen. That is the longest part, just making sure absolutely everything is covered. Now, in terms of primer, I'm going to be using this primer here. This is the Bullseye Zinser Primer, the one, two, three, and it's a water-based, but the thing about this is that it sticks to all materials, including glossy surfaces, without having to sand, and I can definitely tell you guys that it does, because I actually used this in the horror movie room, and I sprayed it over a high-gloss wood paneling, and that room has not had any chippage nothing at all over the past two years and I will be using a paint sprayer to paint this kitchen now, this is the Flexio 4000 by Wagner it is the same one that I've used in my past couple videos however I actually gave that one to my dad when I went and did their kitchen because I didn't have time to clean it before I had to head back so I actually just got a new one which is pretty nice and I'm going to be using this to prime so let's go ahead and add our primer I cut myself on the hand that's why I'm wearing this lovely bracelet with a towel If you are in the market for a paint sprayer for furniture projects, DIYs, painting cabinets or walls, I really, really like this one and it's pretty affordable for what it is. Um, I'll link it below for you guys if you are curious. So what I am currently doing is actually going through and using a TSP cleaner, which I created using a TSP concentrate, just to clean all of our cabinet fronts prior to priming them. all of the drawer front cabinet holes with some wood filler allowed that to dry and then sanded off the excess. Today is door front day, essentially meaning that all of the door fronts for the drawers and cabinets are going to be painted. I'm actually going to be working in the backyard today so I ended up bringing them all out front. There is also quite a few more just right over here these are the taller ones and i also picked up just a ten dollar clothing rack this morning at target because it's gonna allow me to hang the cabinet front a lot easier as you guys remember we added those screw hooks to our doors that way we can easily add them to a hanger and hang them on the clothing rack now something else that's quite nice is we have this gazebo over here which was left from the previous owners and after they are sprayed i'm just going to go and simply hang them on the gazebo and let them dry so we have a pretty large drying rack which is great I'm gonna go ahead and get started on priming these because I also want to get the paint on them today as well. I will say this gazebo, if I didn't have it, I don't know what I would do without it, so came in handy. First coat of primer is on the cabinets. Now let's take a look at the kitchen. All right, so if you guys remember, this is where we left off at. Last time I did our coat of primer, which is now on the entire kitchen. All the cabinetry has one coat all the way around. Now I do need to go through quickly and fill in these holes here. So as you can see, there were some holes from where you can adjust the shelves, but I actually wanna fill those in with wood filler just so it looks a little bit more seamless. And then I could paint over that with the spray. So I'm gonna do that first, then I'll share with you guys the paint color. I just popped the lid, I have yet to take a peek, so let's do it together. 
Oh, wow, look at that color, you guys. This is Van Buren Brown by Benjamin Moore, and this is the color we're gonna be using. So I got it in a satin finish. This is the Advance, which is perfect for cabinets and um, doors and trim, which is exactly what we are gonna be doing. So let's pour this in the paint sprayer and get our first coat of paint on the walls. I just love how quickly you could paint a kitchen with a paint sprayer. Like one coat on this kitchen of the brown shade probably took around 15 minutes on the entire kitchen, which is crazy. But you do have to mask off quite a bit. However, I like the finish that a paint sprayer gives because it is super, super smooth. Kind of similar to as when you use spray paint for a furniture piece. A paint sprayer is kind of like using that for a larger furniture piece, aka my kitchen framework. spraying a kitchen, I always will do about two coats of the spray. But if you have a kitchen that has really intricate molding, whether it be crown molding or on the actual cabinet doors like mine, my cabinet fronts kind of have this really intricate and dainty molding on it, which makes it really challenging to get paint to hit every single facet of the molding. So really go back and make sure that you're hitting everything. And I just suggest all around doing two coats of paint. Just wrapped up adding the second coat of spray to the cabinet doors downstairs, and my hands are looking like this, which is lovely. But I'm about to remove the plastic from our marble. I am so excited to see this color. I absolutely love it so far from what I can see, and I think I'm gonna like it even more with the marble. So let's start removing the tape. I'm so scared too that I accidentally like didn't mask off the section. Guys, I'm unveiling the marble. Well, clearly, I didn't even tell you my thoughts on it. I love the color. It is perfect. I couldn't have chosen a more perfect color, I don't think. I just, I love it. It is great, great, great. Such a rich shade of brown. It has warmth to it, but at some angles, it also has a coolness to it. It's depthy. It's moody. It kind of just enhances the marble a little bit as well. I love the color. This kitchen color. I think this color was the best choice for this kitchen. It is so beautiful, you guys. I absolutely love it. Now, sadly today, it is so gloomy outside, like so, so gloomy. So we have no natural light, or we have a little bit, but like not a bunch of natural light coming in. And normally like the warmth of the sunlight adds a little bit as well. Look at how pretty the cabinets look. Oh, look at that color. I love it. It is so stunning. Look over here. The color is perfect. I absolutely love it. It is such a great shade of like a warm chocolate brown that's so, so rich and just depthy. It pulls out the warmth of the marble. You guys always know I have a hard time with paint colors. Like I'll start painting one color and halfway through change my mind and do a completely different color. And this time I stuck with it and I love it. It is a great, great shade. I, it's perfect. 
they're painted. I just wanted to get them painted before we moved in because we are going to, we're going to be moving in kind of soon, you guys, probably within the next month, month and a half. I've actually filmed a bunch of additional content already. I have a whole nother video for you guys coming out on Thursday and then another one probably on Sunday. I'm trying to crank out the content. So if you're here for it, make sure to subscribe to my channel for brand new videos every single week and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.